uh, hello guys, uh, my name is Dylan, of course, and uh, today I'm just going to be showing you my automated wheat farm with um, pistons. So, to begin, uh, I started by building a uh, structure uh, in the back, which is the main part of it, that would contain water, uh, essentially floodgates using pistons, uh, on both sides. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean by both sides. Uh, and then I had a oh god, a chicken got through. And uh, basically, the, these pistons are right here, the floodgates, as I said before. Now, if we go around to the front of it, uh, uh, as you can see, I don't have anything planted here right now. But, um, basically, uh, the, uh, floodgates, which are the pistons behind, uh, here, are wired to a single lever that, uh, opens up the, uh, gate, uh, like this. Oops. As you can see, it flows all the way down, all the way to the collection area, which is right by the door. Uh, and then you just switch it back on for it to stop. Now, um, you might be wondering how do I, how am I, uh, getting, uh, these watered? Well, um, in the center, hold on, as you can see, between there, uh, there's water under there, and underneath this, uh, as you can see right there, there's water under here. There's also water under here. Uh, I think two blocks down, which gets the outside ones over there. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I could make a, I can extend this if I wanted to. I just make the drop off ledge right there. Uh, just keep going with it. Uh, uh, pretty much just got an idea from watching some wheat farms on YouTube, and uh, I will say this works because I got uh, 64 seeds, uh, 27 wheat. Um, it's better than having like a tiny little enclosed one that you have to keep doing. I mean, hitting the wheat to get the wheat. So, um, basically that's it. Uh, if you liked or if you have any, you know, suggestions how to improve my videos, just uh, leave a uh, comment. And if you liked it, like the video or subscribe, whatever you want. So, uh, thanks.